Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to be going over the Titan subclass Sunbreaker, which is the new and third subclass that came out in Destiny the Taken King on the Xbox One. I've already completed the first part of the mission, and so now I'm activating the ghost to use the forge. In the shadows of the light that gave birth to the ancients, use the forge. So now I'm going to go ahead and activate the forge, and by activating it, I will gain access to the new subclass ability Sunbreaker. Fire born of man, fire of the light, ask yourself, what power do you seek from the forge, guardian? Can you bring light to where only darkness survives? So I have now gained the Sunbreaker subclass ability, and uh, with that, the Titan now has this new skill all revolving around the Hammer of Soul, which is the super ability. And so during the mission here, we're just going to practice using our new subclass. Um, we have pretty much unlimited super uses and plenty of bad guys to kill, so we're just going to follow the enemies around and kill them using our new super. So the Hammer of Soul summons a flaming hammer and wreaks destruction down upon the enemies and it binds to uh, right bumper and uh, left bumper and so you simultaneously need to hit them at the same time to activate your super which if you've played Destiny at all you're very familiar with that um, and then you can start throwing these hammers of fire and um, it has some pretty cool modifiers to the super uh, Forge Master lets you throw more hammers and the hammers cause bigger explosions which I really like to use that one um, you can also use Sun Charge which I haven't tried out too much but it lets you hurl, hurl yourself forward and uh, enemies in your path explode and it chains damage to other enemies uh, and the other one I really like is Scorched Earth which ignites the world and um, it creates sunspots everywhere your hammer of soul hits. So anytime you throw a hammer, it'll create a sunspot on the ground. And obviously I don't have any of these abilities activated right now because I just unlocked the subclass, but I have practiced with it enough and unlocked the class fully in my character, and um, that's definitely one I'd suggest using Scorched Earth. It's pretty cool. And uh, also you have fusion grenades, thermite grenades, and incendiary grenades. This is all a solar-based subclass, so keep that in mind when thinking about what this entails. Uh, solar being fire. And uh, you also have a melee ability, which is the Sun Strike, which is very similar to the Warlock's melee ability when using Sunslinger, in that it ignites enemies uh, with fire when you hit them. And um, one of the uh, modifiers you can use is Stroke Forge, which uh, anytime you get a killing blow with your melee, it instantly recharges it. So you can just keep meleeing bad guys, which is really cool if they're, they're bad guys that aren't too tough. Um, some other cool modifiers are Flame Seeker, which Hammer of Soul will seek out its enemies. Um, and I also really like Simmering Flames, so when your super is full, a grenade and melee recharge twice as fast. So that's kind of an overview of the new subclass for the Titan, the Sunbreaker. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch at Red Lace Gaming. And please stay tuned to watch the opening sequence of the Sunbreaker subclass. What does it mean to be a Titan? As a Titan, you are a part of the city in a way no warlock or hunter could understand. The dream of the city rests upon our shoulders. Then there are those that find a path outside our walls. Those that take up with leaders they barely understand. So it has ever been with the Sunbreakers. The Hammer of Soul is a flame in the darkness. But fire burns without thought. It is time that fire came home to keep the city and her walls warm throughout the long night.